two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and of course 15 well done our rest time starts now our rest time starts now our rest time starts now walk around walk around don't sit down you know one thing i like by walking what, what i do when I'm walking around, I'm trying to keep active, but with lower intensity. So, as I'm resting, um, not cooling. All right, let's go. One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done, well done. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. Walk around, walk around, active rest, walk around, walk around. All right, all right, all right. Walk around, walk around, walk around. We have five more seconds left. Five more seconds. Five more seconds. So I'll start by demonstrating the actual workout that we're going to do. So take one of the water bottles. I'm just checking if my water bottle is properly secured. And, oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe I may have to hold it like that. So we go on a squat, that, squat, that, 15 times on each leg. If you're unable to balance holding the weight, it's okay. You can sit on the chair, sit, then, up one all right so we're going to do 15 on each leg that's one set we're going to do three sets so one two three and move one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The other leg, let's go. One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done. Well done. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. Breathe in and out. In and out. Look around. And our time's up. 
Our time's up. Let's go. Next set. One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take it up. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and of course 15. We have the leg. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and of course, fifteen. Well done. Your rest time starts now. Your rest time starts now. Your rest time starts now. Walk around, walk around. The right time. We have 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. And time's up. Time's up. Let's go for the top set. Are you ready? Because I am. One, two, three, and move. When? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and of course, fifteen. Get the leg. Are you ready? One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and of course 15. Well done. Well done, well done. So on to our next workout, our next workout of the day. Remember we are doing a full body workout. Yes, yes. So we're gonna do some biceps. You have to bring these babies up. So we're going to do some bicep and combine with chair dips. All right, one, two, three, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and of course, 15. You combine that with chair dips, there we go. So you put your chair, you, you're going to grab the chair with your uh, fingers facing front, right? And then go down, putting your weight on the hind side which is called the tricep of your arm so that we work it out all right let's go we need to do 12 of these 12 good ones <laughs> so make sure you're not lifting with your legs just let the legs rest one two three go one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. Bring some water as usual. Hydrate. We're going to set number two. We're going to do three sets of that. We're going to set number two. Three sets of that. All right. So we're going to do 15 repetitions of the bicep curl and then we do 12 repetitions of the chair dips. Remember, weight is on your arm. Time's up. Let's go. One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, Fifteen. Let's go for the chair dips. Let's go for the chair dips. One, two, three, and move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, no, I said 12, <laughs> I said 12, so we are going for 12 repetitions, your rest time starts now, your rest time starts now, so you walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, walk around, have 10 more seconds left, 10 more seconds left, 10 more seconds left, 5 more seconds left, and time's up, time's up, last set, last set, let's go, 1, 2, 3 and move, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, well done, let's go, chair dips, 1, 2, 3 and move, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you did those three sets with me, you've done an amazing job. If you did those three sets with me, you did an amazing job. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. We have 30 seconds of rest. 30 seconds of rest. I remain with one water bottle. We're gonna do some military shoulder press. We have like five minutes where we are gonna kill those shoulders. Remember, it's a full body 
workout and we're trying to hit most of our body we have done a little bit of lower body and now we are doing the upper body so we have five more seconds left five more and times up times up let's go one two three and move one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and of course fifteen well done our rest time starts now our rest time starts now our rest time starts now walk around walk around our rest time starts now Our rest time starts now. We have, let me see how many seconds left. We have 10 more seconds left. 10 more seconds left. And time's up. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go. Next set. One, two, three, and move. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done. Well done. Our rest time starts now. Our rest time starts now. Walk around, walk around. Our rest time says now. Our rest time says now. We have 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds left. Ten more seconds left. Ten more seconds left. And there we go. Time's up. Our time's up. Let's go, last set. One, two, three, and move. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Well done, well done. If you did that full workout with, with me, you did an amazing job. My name is Evelyn Owala of Eva Health and Fitness. E-V-E-A-L on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. You can hit that follow button just to get more tips and motivation on how to keep on track. Otherwise, look forward to Peter. I know you're gonna start uh, with good energy today yes and of course you're just feeling amazing let it spread on get control of your day have a lovely day bye bye with you mm, I even gifted you a magnificent house hmm. Rosa it's the thought that counts mm -hmm. please help me when it comes to fever you need to be both Panadol baby and infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy Panadol baby and infant tough on fever gentle on your child Ajali katika sekta ya boda boda zinaendelea kuongezeka kila siku. Chanuka na boda boda insurance imeletwa kwako na Chanuka Fintech wakishirikiana na Credit Bank na kuwezesha na Mpesa. Kujisajili kwa Chanuka na boda boda insurance bonyeza star 277 hash weka shilingi 200 kila siku kwa siku kumi alafu ufuatilie na shilingi hamsini kila siku kwa miezi sita au ufuatilie na shilingi 300 kila Friday kwa miezi sita.
Access up to 95% financing with a flexible repayment plan of up to 60 months and enjoy a two-month repayment holiday. Call us today on 0703-095-445. Family Bank, with you for life. Hello, Susan. Yes, you. Holding that pack. I know you've been avoiding me because in the past I've made you uncomfortable. Maybe even caused you pain. But I want you to know that I have changed. For you. Hey, what is this? You can love me again if you're willing to give me another chance. Meet me at aisle 4. Hey, Susan. It's lactose free! You love milk, and now there is milk that loves you. With Gold Crown Lactose Free Milk, you can enjoy the richness of natural cow's milk without any of the digestion discomfort. Gold Crown Lactose Free Milk that loves you. Get your dancing shoes on and get your dancing moves on because this week on Tender Public from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., we are showing you a brand new. TikTok challenge and you need to get on it but first follow at Sky Girls KE on Instagram for more information on that and this Saturday we have amazing guests joining us to show us how the TikTok dance challenge for Sky Girls KE is done bringing you nothing but vibes and vibes and vibes mtakula vibes eh? Team Republic in association with Sky Girls Kenya you can be a Sky Girl too. Just go to skygirlske.com and take the pledge. Follow up on Instagram and Facebook at skygirlske. St. Paul's University invites you to a virtual graduation ceremony which will be held on Friday, October 9th, 2020 at the Lemuru Campus. The ceremony will be covered live on NTV from 10 a.m. St. Paul's University, your university of choice. We featured him some time back on this show and he's still scaling the heights in Accra, Ghana. Right now, the Nonya Machoma Vizuri Sama. Livingstone Asikoye, the chef at Alisa Hotel. We will also cross over to Rwanda where Kenyan teacher and farmer Peter Karanja is excelling in macadamia farming. On Kenya to the World segment, we will tell you why Kenyan flowers are doing well in Ghana. On my magical Kenya, why this Giriyama jig made me lose weight. Mommy, say I can just be doing school from home. No, Mama, that will never happen. Schools in Kenya will remain closed until further notice. 2020 showed us to never say never. Ensure your happiness with APN. Welcome to Pishi Home Chef. Oh. Just perfect. We're gonna be cooking breakfast. Making chicken shikaki carbonara. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm so happy to be on this show. Those people think I can't cook again. <laughs> I forgot onions. So I have to call her literally to call her and ask her and say your recipe. Pishi Joey. Check out at Pishi254. Here at NMG, we are working very hard to ensure your favorite publications, Daily Nation, Business Daily, Taifa Leo, and the East African are readily available. In a bid to support the efforts to prevent the transmission of COVID-19, NMG has ensured our staff, our distributors and their staff adhere to set guidelines. At our printing plant, 
all staff are required to wash their hands before entering the factory and must be wearing a mask. All workers either change their clothes on entering the factory or wear an overcoat. We are keeping doors open to avoid our staff touching door handles repeatedly. With our automated printing, contact with the newspaper is kept to a minimum and at the parking process, the staff observe social distancing. Vehicles used to transport the newspapers are disinfected daily before the newspapers are loaded. And our delivery staff all wear masks and wash their hands regularly. Our vendors ensure that they sanitize every time they handle money and wear their masks at all times. NMG is proud to be able to safely meet your information needs. Stay safe, stay informed with our favorite NMG publications. Let's hop in my This week on The Trend. I said hop in my Maserati. Hop in my Maserati. Girl, I wanna see you go down. Alejandro. Fissi, 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 fissi. Alejandro. Fissi, 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 fissi. Me pegue a chain, me pegue a chain. Me pegue a chain, me pegue a chain. Only on The Trend. Baby, hop in my Maserati. And I just wanna see you cry. The Trend, in association with Infinix. The future is now. Infinix, the future is now. Japo njia bora zaidi ya kukisha usafi wa mikono ni kutumia maji na sabuni. Katika baadhi ya sehemu wameweka mchanganyiko huu maalum wa kutoa uchafu maarufu sanitizer na tunahimizwa kila tunapotumia tuhakikishe kwamba sehemu zote za mkono zimeupata mchanganyiko huo kwa kufanya hivi kwa takriban sekunde 20 hivi na tuimizane wenyewe kwa wenyewe kufanya usafi manake wapo mwanzako hatafanya usafi basi anakutia wewe hatari Job went through many troubles but the bible says that at the end of it he was more blessed, he was stronger, and he was more wealthy than he had ever been. This is our prayer, this is our belief, that when this is all over, we will be stronger, we will be more blessed, we will be a greater nation than we ever been. God bless you and stay safe. This is NTV. Good morning and welcome to your world uh, this Friday, the ninth day of October 2020. Uh, welcome to the show and you might be wondering what I'm doing with all these kind of funny things behind me. Well, this morning we've got your back. We are dealing with all issues to do with your spine, with your back. So have you had a back issue before? Have you had neck problems before? You're in the right place. So sit up, uh, pay attention because we're going to take you through everything that it takes to look after your spine, which is really the engine of all our movements and everything else that we do. Welcome to the show and coming up this Friday morning.
we give you practical tips on how to look after your back or your spine or your neck and we'll take you through some exercises that will be really useful in terms of maintaining either healing your back or improving your posture. It is going to take a miracle. Jake was never meant to walk again, but he could not take the news lying down. A paralyzed man walks with brain control exoskeleton. And this sport is taking over social media. Find out why. And this morning we're asking you, have you suffered spine injury or had problems with your back in the past? What did you do? What were the challenges in seeking treatment? You can talk to us via hashtag new normal. Uh, but before we do all of that, let's have a look at some of these stories that we have for you this morning, just before we begin to speak about the spine, spinal injuries, the back, and so on. We start in Ethiopia, and uh, for the past year, workers have been busy transforming a disused plot of land uh, down the hill from Ethiopia Prime Minister uh, Abiy Ahmed's office into a park showing his political vision. The 48-hectare Friendship Square is rich in symbolism, promoting unity, a fountain sinks with a patriotic hit song, Ethiopia, and an elevated uh, speaker's platform is flanked by 76 oracaria trees, one for each ethnic group in Ethiopia, represented in the upper house of parliament. Nobody said this is a much more of a priority than anything else as well. No one said that it's a priority over uh, human security, over the rule of law. But these are things that are being done in parallel. Um, these activities don't occur in a vacuum, they work in parallel. The Prime Minister doesn't only engage in these issues, he works in a multiple, uh, you know, uh, plethora of other issues that he's working as well. It has a great uh, potential for uh, tourism development, uh, but we didn't uh, uh, use this uh, potential fully. Uh, one of the, the challenges is uh, uh, we don't have uh, major facilities to uh, extend the uh, lengths of stay of the tourists in this area. Prime Minister Abiy is in the middle. Um, he wants to please all Ethiopians and he has tried to govern from the centre. But it is very hard to please all of these constituencies when they have such divergent understandings of Ethiopia's history and of where the country should go in the future. So you can see there are very serious problems with Ethiopia's federation and these hostile relations between Tigray's government and the federal government have always been part of the reason whilst, while it was possible um, to make peace um, with Eritrea, um, it has been very difficult to normalise relations and that's because Eritrea's government also has very hostile relations with Tigray's leadership. And from Ethiopia, we cross the border to Uganda, where leading climate activist Vanessa Nakate says climate change presents world leaders with life or death choices, pressing them to treat it uh, as urgent crisis. She was one of the speakers, including...
the uh, South African climate activist Ayaka Melitafa, and Al Gore, former U.S. Vice President and environmentalist, who spoke at an online lecture to mark the 89th birthday of South Africa's Nobel Peace Prize winner and retired Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And the planet must come first before anything else. If you do not treat climate change as a crisis, then you will not do what is necessary for us to get out of this mess. It is time for leaders to leave their comfort zones and see the danger that we are in and do something about it. This is a matter of life and death. We are showing you the direction. There are two choices we present to you today, life and death. Choose life for the people. Choose life for the ecosystems. Choose life for the planet. We need to stop being passive. We need to stop putting each other down and criticizing each other. We are powerful beyond measure. And together, we will truly make powerful and effective change. And the youth of today are rightly and justly demanding a brighter and better future. They're embracing the challenge as if their lives depend on it, because they do. And the rest of us must follow their lead and act before it's too late. And staying with South Africa, a demonstration takes place in Pretoria at the call of the Congress of South African Trade Unions, COSATU, denouncing the South African government's handling of corruption, the economy, and the COVID-19 pandemic. COSATU president, uh, says that away from healthcare and public sector workers, things have been really bad. In September, South Africa's Auditor General said that the country's multi-billion dollar coronavirus budget was marred with frightening levels of corruption. Corruption has taken away from workers. Healthcare workers, workers in the, in the public sector have died contracting coronavirus because the quality of PPEs that were given were not of a quality that will defend workers as they are trying to defend our own lives. You'll be ashamed if I might tell you how much am I earning. Yes. Of which is a secret I won't tell you, but it's very painful. Yes. So please, Sir Ramaphosa, do something. Do something for us, please. As you can see in South Africa, there's, there's, there's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of corruption. And at least the president is trying to do something about it. But hey, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm even confused about it because everyone is doing corruption. Even our money, maybe that's why we don't have it. Because somebody is eating our money there. And we want it. It's ours. Okay, so welcome to the world of your spine and all matters back, all matters neck. Now, with me here is uh, Dr. Hamisi Alikote, and we're going to spend the next few moments just walking through. Uh, what gives you trouble with your back, what you need to do about it to support it better, or indeed your neck and, you know, uh, your mobility and so on. So we'll start with this uh, human person here, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Amisa, well, welcome to the program. Thank you so much uh, for having me. Okay, now, let's start here. So, <clears throat> the human body is supported by a structure, and that structure is nothing other than the skeletal system. And the skeletal system uh, has... Uh, various components that are key. One, we have this part, which is the, the vertebral column. Okay, the vertebral column uh, has seven vertebras on the neck. It has twelve vertebras on the thoracic spine. It has five vertebras on the area that hurts everyone. The yes, <laughs> and then it has some more five fused ones on, on the bone that we the sit cossacks, on, yeah. on the cossacks. Uh, we also have these two uh, bones on the side. So we have the sacrum and these two bones on the side that provide us with the sitting. And it's also the same place that uh, uh, our hips get, in, get, get, uh, get attached. What is interesting about the spine, these are 33 
bones, if you may, but we also have the same number of joints on the foot. Right. So the foot and the spine have the same number of joints. Even this though this is, is a very long yes, column. Yes, yes, yeah. because the foot determines the movement of the spine. And the spine will always move in three planes of motion, or rather the body moves in three planes of motion. It was going to go into flexion, extension. It's going to go into side and side, and it's going to go into rotation and rotation. So that is determined by how we walk and determined by the foot. So how you step is really key in how your spine uh, end up functioning. So for someone who's functioning absolutely uh, okay, how should this posture, how should things connect together and work together if someone is perfectly, perfectly okay? Okay, okay yeah. great. So we have what we call the spinal calves. We have a calf at the neck, okay? Right. We have a calf at the thoracic spine, and we have another calf at the lumbar, and we have another calf, if you may, at the here. So we have this, 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 and that. These calves provide a circumshore capability of our spine, so that as we walk, the body is able to take different tensions, okay? And that, those calves are actually controlled by the, uh, by the feet, so whenever we walk, we start with a heel strike. Right. Okay, when we have a heel strike, then we have a stance, and then we have a toe off. So what does it do? It moves the spine forward. Okay, when you, so you step, you move the spine forward, then it moves to the side, and when you take off, it rotates. So that is how the spine should move. So if you have a fixed foot, let's say when you step, your foot is flat-footed, or your foot has a very high arch, it means then you don't get to give the body or rather the spine that shokumsova capability. It starts locking on its own. That is one way. The other way is if you sit for so long, if you realize human beings were never meant to sit <laughs> eight hours no, no, job. That's we, were, right. <laughs> we were meant to be hunters and gatherers, supposed to go out, chase animals, throw spears, and maintain this... Um, upright type of position. However, when we sit for a very long time, what we do is we encourage this type of posture and this type of posture. So as a result, we end up getting... You put the strain back on your... Yes, rounded shoulders. shoulders. A lot of strain on, and stiffness on the muscles of the, the back, on the neck, and then a lot on the back. So what does that, that do? It creates shortening here. So you shorten this. And then it creates shortening here, you create this. So people who end up developing neck or back problems will start with a muscle spasm. Because these muscles are working too hard to try and keep the posture right. Is that the same case for the kind of chair that you use? That absolutely, you sit on? absolutely, absolutely. So they start causing a lot of time. And most of the time if you just sit and you don't move, then mass, some muscles just go into a relaxation. They go to the beach. The others are working throughout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the others are working throughout. When this repetition happens for a very long time, then the muscles on the back starts getting rigid. They start to fatigue. When they start to fatigue, that's when you get your first incidents. I'm having, and I feel my back is stiff, or I'm having a muscle spasm. You go and get an MRI, get an X-ray, and they'll say, the doctor will say, there's nothing much you're seeing on your back, but there's a lot of muscle spasm. Right. Now, what people don't understand when they hear muscle spasm, they think, well, it's like a muscle cramp in, 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 in running. Well, it is, but this is constant. The difference is that this one, you stretch and it goes, but this is almost constant. If you go back into, again, prolonged sitting, this will change from muscle spasm to degenerative change, where the discs get the soft. squashed, the soft part. These are the discs, okay? The discs get squashed. When they get squashed, they start compressing these guys, okay. the nerves. So, so just on that, because yes. I want to uh, take on some tips as we, as we... So in terms of long sitting, what's yes. the solution to that if you don't want to end up in hospital or coming you know, under your care? Under my care. It's, it's very important that after, you, after you've been sitting for, let's say, 30 minutes, one hour, get up, go get your coffee. Walk about. Go get some water. Or even on your desk, just mobilize your spine. You know, just mobilize your spine. Stretch up. Things that encourage the spine to move. Why? Because these discs have fluid, and that fluid needs to keep, is a, need to, to keep that uh, flow. If it doesn't, then you're having problems. So when you have a problem here, what are the kind of conditions that, you, uh, the, the one that can, can develop? Okay, so uh, let's start with the neck. 
Can I move this man? Yes. Yeah, so we can see. Yeah. So let's start with the neck. And when you're looking at the neck, we are looking at these nerves. Okay. So the the, the what we call the vertebral foramen is where the nerves are coming out. Mm -hmm. These are supposed to maintain an open space so that the nerve is able to play back and forth without any hindrance. Right. Now, when you sit for so long and you develop this posture and this posture, what happens is that you start squashing the, 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 the foramen. And when the foramen starts getting squashed, you start getting what you call degenerative disease. Your, 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 your spine start degenerating. You start getting what is called the early arthritic signs. Now, that continues until the nerve now is, is actually compressed. The nerve is no longer, you can so see in the disc, so you can see the disc here. Now, yes, yeah. the nerve now gets trapped. So when yeah. the nerve gets trapped, it does not have that free grind. And as a result, it starts, it's irritated. When it's irritated, it's going to uh, cause problems to the guys it supplies. So you start having that muscle cramp, you start having pain, right. stiffness. And that continues to give you what we call a radiculopathy pain. Pain that will radiate as tingling, as numbness. All the way through your arm. And all the way through your arm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people start thinking, oh, am I getting a stroke? Or, no, most of the time it's because okay. of the compression of the spine giving us this tightness and stiffness. That's when we look at the spine. We look at the thoracic spine. The thoracic spine, on the other hand, is a bit protected. And like here, your, if, you look at, if you look at this, this is, this is just the spine, the spinal cord. However, here we have a protection. So the, the, um, the, the, the thoracic spine doesn't get as many problems as the neck and the lower back okay. pain. However, you also get degenerative changes because now if you stay here for so long, you're going to keep bending. And when Which you also keep, affects your, your breathing, mm -hmm. it affects your digestion. And as a result, you also again can get degenerative changes. These degenerative changes can give you scoliosis. Okay. They can also, you, you can also get uh, fractures because of this continuous compression. If you continue compressing the bone, sometimes people develop like, a, a, a fracture on the spine. And this is also because the bone starts weakening and circulation of the bone is also affected. Again, you also can get disc protrusion on the thoracic spine that also give you an impingement. Sometimes people will tell you I have pain here. Just around you? Yes, yes. Or I have pain grinding from here to here. And I don't know what's wrong with it. It's part of the posture. Okay. We go down to um, the low back pain. The low back pain is... It's the mother of all problems. <laughs> I can move this side so you yeah, can come yes, closer to yes, it. You yes, can move it that can way. Move so, it this so, way. Can so it becomes, we'll be able to see what becomes the mother of all problems. What happens is that, again, the discs on the low back, because you're now having all this weight being, comp being carried by this part. Okay. There's no, this is just muscle and this spine. So all this weight being compressed on your back leads to what? Again, disc bulge that end up, this is normal, but it narrows into that much. When it run out that much again, so it causes from this kind of thickness, thickness to this. Yeah. So well, if it, what? How? What do you feel when you when you get to this kind of level? What, how, what do you feel in your body? It's, it can be a, a various presentation. It can you can have pain just on the back, or no pain on the back but pain on the leg. Okay. Or you may have pain up to the knee. So it depends on what level of compression uh, that that is happening. So what happens is that. Okay. This is what we call a facet syndrome. Right. Facet syndrome is where this, these are the facets. See this joint, this joint here, this, 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 um, this joint here is supposed to be playing like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now when it locks in one side, when it locks in one side, it gives you, you can't move because. So you're kind it, of stuck. Yeah, like you're that. kind of stuck. That is called facet syndrome. Then you can also get a spondylosis. Spondylosis is when, because of this continuous sitting, this bone or this bone kind of slips forward. Yeah. When it slips forward, again, it's going to cause compression of the nerve and giving you a lot of radicular. Can I ask you a question as you do yes. this? Yes. Uh, about how we walk. I know we're, we're going to talk about that in a moment. Yes. But in terms of, sorry, um, things are falling apart behind sorry. me. <laughs> My spine is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Your spine is not falling. Uh, f the shoes that people walk on, uh, people wear high heels, people wear some very high, you know, what, what's the impact? What, what does that do to you and back to the spine again? So as I was explaining earlier, the foot is so key in the spine. And as I said, it has enough, the same number of joints as, as the spine. Right. So if you're flat-footed, it means it's like you're driving a car without shocks. Right. 
So it, you're, you're having this kind of... Yes. Yeah. Have, yes. So you don't send... So the, the bones don't send a, a cushioning uh, spring mechanism okay. into the back. When you wear high heels and you're here, then you have... No heels back. Right. So, so the, yeah, you, it's, you start, you it's, it's an abnormal... Yeah, you, you throw the curve of the spine right. into, into the front. And what does that do? Again, pinching. And will it only pinch here? No, it will also pinch here because you cannot walk like this. You have to, you have to look up. So essentially, you want a kind of a, a, a rolling movement. Yes, you want, you want a shoe that allows your body to spring up, yeah. to spring, and that's why it's important to know um, you, 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 how your foot uh, steps because there are various ways our feet steps. For example, I'll give you. We call them the red flags uh, of the of, of pronation. So if we are to look at the structure of a human being is supposed to be upright and you know balanced left and right. Right. However, there are people. There are people who walk with flared gait. What does that mean? They, <laughs> they walk. Yeah. They they go sweeping everything in their way. <laughs> <laughs> right. That when you when you walk like that yeah. again, it changes how the spine rotates. Okay. Okay. Now, is that a problem originally because of the spine or just because so the, the way feet. you... That's the feet. Okay. Okay. But okay. it can also come right. because of the spine. If you sit for so long, yeah. you're going you're gonna to push, your, yeah, push your foot like, like a, a dunk or something. Yes. The other thing is what you call uh, internal rotation of the knee. There are a lot of people who have no knee. Mm -hmm. rather, whenever they step, they, they do this. And that also throws the spine okay. into... Into, into different uh, uh, alignment, uh, off alignment. Then we have people who not only do they, no, no, they, have, they when they step, it's like their foot, you, yes, it's yeah. like, yes, their, their arches are, like, are, are, are bent. Mm -hmm. Again, that does not send very good feedback to the brain as you walk. So it strains. It's like your car when your car is out of alignment. Right. If your car is out of alignment and you're driving it, you'll always never have a smooth ride. So how, how do you help your spine in all this? I'll, I'll, I'll we'll get there. To yes. Then we get to the flat foot. And then the other way of looking, if you don't have a way, just look at your shoe. Right. How does your shoe wear out? Some people, their shoe, you see somebody and the shoe is almost facing out completely. It's on the edge, on the, uh, yeah. Yes. On, on the outer edge. Yes. Yeah. So any one of these, this is what it does to the spine. It causes the foot to roll in. Right. That causes a rotation on the knee. That causes a rotation on the pelvis. That causes a shoulder drop. Okay. So if you're looking at, a, at, at someone then, they may look upright, but they're like that. Yeah. Okay? And as a result of that, uh, <laughs> the spine... I must say, I, I, I'm one of those. I'm <laughs> told, this is my <laughs> traditional pose. Yep. And, and I, think, I think my legs, one, is, one must be longer than the other. In any photograph I've taken since childhood, uh, you'll see me... <laughs> you, always, you always change positions. Yeah. Uh, it's, so I'm it's, putting my... My weight tends to come onto the, onto the right leg. Most of the time it's not anatomical shortening, it's physiological shortening. Right. And, 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 and you find it's also another sign you can know so that your back is not again? okay. A physiological, a physiological change, it means it can be adjusted and corrected. Okay. And anatomical is permanent. It's like you have a, we had a fracture and the leg is shortened, yeah. you had a knee replacement and the leg is shortened, yeah. that is permanent. Okay. But the other one can be adjusted. Now, Dr. Missy. How do you go about establishing all these kind of things? In other words, how do you tell what when people come to you and they say we're suffering from? I think I've got this. Is what mechanism do you use to assess what, what what's wrong with somebody? So we start. The start is about you have to take a history. You have to understand what is the medical journey of that person. Right. Like you said, you started pain when you we started standing in different ways from your kid. We want to know that history. Then from there we come here and we have a three body viewer. Okay. A three. This three body viewer helps us to see the difference <clears throat> between weight distribution on the right and on the left. Okay. To be able to pick for us this. So that when now, we, we, when you stand here and we see you're dropping your shoulder this way, yeah. you're rotated this way. Right. When I'm going to treat you, my aim is to derot it. Okay. Okay. Starting from the foot, not just the spine, starting from the foot. So we, you stand here and we run Without, run. without shoes, or does it matter? You, you run you, you without shoe. Okay. You wanna you wanna try? I, I wanna try. Uh, I'm just gonna reveal my entire medical history on live television to 49 million <laughs> Kenyans. So you gotta step here. <laughs> okay. I'm standing there. When you stand there, so. Okay. <clears throat> Ready to do this? Uh, maybe, let me just have your socks off for a okay. second. Sorry, I forgot okay. to do that. 
so that it's easy to get uh, your feet itself. Okay. This is your world. We take off socks, shoes, and I don't know what else. Are they the airport, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you step here and here. Okay. Excellent. So we have a scanner that will run, uh, an inf uh, I mean, a laser light that will run under your, under your feet. True. Okay. Yeah. But before that, we want you to step with, you, with your right hand, with your right leg. Only? Mm -hmm. uh, I lift one leg in the Yes, and then step on the mirror. Step on the mirror. Step here on the mirror. Sir, where is the step mirror? Here. Oh, I yes. see. <laughs> yes. And then just be upright and, and focus. My leg is bent. Is that? No, no. Just stand straight. The way you stand. Oh, I see. The way you normally straight. stand. Yeah? Do you want me to move? Okay. And your colleague is going to, he's the one who's doing on the right? Yes, on the right. No, start with the right. Start with the right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so stand. There you go. The way I normally stand. The way you normally stand and like don't think about it. Journalist. <laughs> Imagine you took your car to... Uh, Quite to, relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> took your car to, for cambering. Yes. And that's how it should be. So you can see the light, the red light. And I can feel some sensation under, underneath my feet. Yes, uh, yeah. Which means the machine is working, doing some magic. Yeah, uh, so that, that looks at how uh, you stand from head to toe. Okay. And then we're gonna, after that, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna change just a second when the light goes all the way back. Okay. Okay, change legs. Change legs, okay. Step into the scanner. Hold on, with... just a second. Okay, okay. okay. Step on the scanner. On the scanner. And then Trying again. to look natural, stand yeah. straight, there quite relaxed. And we scan the left foot. Right. Okay. So again, Dr. Amisi, what will this show us? So this will show us uh, the difference in weight distribution from right to left. How are you uh, bearing weight? How are you, um, uh, how is your body compositing from left to right? That is, that is the key. That is what we really are interested in seeing here. So ideally, you should be equally distributing your weight between... Left and right. Le yeah. Yes, so, and, 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 and the, the foot arches needs to be the same. However, when you have an issue, you find that the toes will also want to grab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so... Um, the, other, the other thing that you notice is that when you have had uh, this, um, uh, let's say... Uh, the, the Have I done? Or almost a second. Okay, okay. So you realize when, when this degeneration or this alignment goes on for a long time, right. that's when, when you are now older, you, get, you develop this. Spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis. Because spinal stenosis is chronic yeah. degenerative changes that cause multiple... Uh, disc herniation or disc bulges. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Did you get it? Yeah. Uh, not yet. Eh? So does that mean there's something wrong with my left foot? Because it, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> it will not allow the your yeah, scanner to work. Yes. Okay. So okay. so the degenerative changes that happen, you find people who will experience like especially chronic pain that. This leg pain that will never go away. Right. And, 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 and that is because now, over time, yes. this has shifted. Not only here, but here. The other thing I can show you is just even when you're standing, mm -hmm. uh, as you're doing the scanner, you can just feel the difference between right and left. Yes. This is painful. That's, that's uh, a bit yeah, painful. Stiff, yeah. This is nothing. Yeah. If I came down here, mm -hmm. this is stiff. Yeah. This is nothing. Right. So you can see that composition left, right, left, right, left, right. Wow. Okay. So maybe we can continue as the scan is, yes, is, is, is running. Indeed, we, uh, we will need our, our guinea pig, the actual guinea pig. Yes. <laughs> to, to yes. Have a so, test. so the three body viewer again gives us this type of imagery. Okay. Okay. And then will show us which leg. Like now, when I look at your legs, you just, you just stand without thinking. Mm -hmm. look, at, look at the difference between these toes yes. and these toes. Yeah. See a difference? Yeah. These ones are always... These ones are a bit... Always yeah, grabbing. they want to grab. <laughs> yeah. The others are relaxed. Chill. So what does that tell us? Yeah. It tells us the same thing you're telling me, that you have all the time to keep shifting. Because I... Yes. Yes, keep shifting position. Okay. okay. So the next thing that we do after here, we want to look at the nerve tension, muscle tension, and organ tension. Okay. How do we do that? We have another scanner that uh, we're going to run to see. Which we're just going to get... Uh, uh, my colleague uh, Brian, uh, is, yes. is, uh, we're waiting for him to come and uh, go through all these uh, necessary punishments <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> so, so let's yeah. go into and uh, into and see uh, the, and see the other scan. Okay, so we're going to go now to uh, next door to the next uh, to the next room with uh, Dr. Hamisi, and while all these results are being processed, so that we see what the outcome is, 
uh, again, remind us what, what, what do we see in the next room? Just so in the next there. room, we want to go and look at, so here we have seen the misalignment right. between right and left. Yes. Now, in the next room, we want to see how is that misalignment affecting your muscles? Right. How is that misalignment affecting your organ? Okay. And how is that misalignment affecting your function, uh, your nerve? Okay. Because we need, to, for, for the nerve to be compressed here, there has to be an effect on the muscles. So the muscles have to weaken up. Yes. Like I was showing, some of you are tight and others are, are, are not that's, tight. That's right. Then the nerve will be compressed as it exits from the spinal cord. Okay. So when it's, uh, when it's compressed, the effect of the organ or the organ that it supplies will always also function at a, at a lesser degree. Okay. Yes. So we've got another candidate so that we can compare things. Now your scan is working through. Yeah. Again, um, scanning the, the right leg first. And then she's going to switch so that we, we can scan her left leg as well. And this kind of gives you an instant picture of... Yeah, it, gives you, it gives you an, 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 instant, an instant, uh, uh picture of what is happening. Mm -hmm. Because, again, again what, you, what, what our interest here is to see, how do you stack up? It's like a building. You know, a building without a good foundation will always start cracking and will start bending on one side, maybe four. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's almost the same. I'll put on my shoes as, as, you, as you talk, uh, Dr. Tari, yes. <laughs> as you get move on to... Yeah, and the other thing that maybe I would explain here is the type of pain referrals. And that, right. uh, you remember when I was showing you about pain referrals mm -hmm. and how the disc bulges? Right. This is... <clears throat> the disc has two bones, okay? There's the okay. top bone and there's the lower bone. And in between the bones, we have a jelly part. This thing I was showing you here, the disc. Right. Now, this disc <coughs> is fibrous, if you may. Mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. And the inside of it, is uh, the nucleus, is like, a, is, like, is like grease. Okay. Okay? So you have this tough part and you have the grease part. The grease part allows it to play, to play back and forth. And the, the fibrous part holds uh, the, 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 the gel. Now, when you have degeneration, or rather, because of the weight distribution, the, this start get developing a weakness. And that weakness starts pushing on the nerve. You can see here it's balanced. But here you can see the nerve is being pushed. Now, this is the first uh, incidence of low back pain. Then it continues and this nerve, this thing bursts. The, 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 the rubber, the rubber, uh, the, the, oh, so the fibrous becomes the weak. Yeah. When, it, when it comes weak, the fluid seeps off. This is when you get that freezing sciatic pain, okay. when right. you cannot move. And the presentation can be this pain to the foot. Okay. It can be this to the oh. knee. It can be this to the outer toe, or it can be just straight on at the oh. back of the okay. leg. Okay. So, Dr. I'll ask you to lead us to the next room. Yes. I'll follow you. Maybe you can have a can look at the scan oh, yes. results. Now. So, whose feet are these? <laughs> <laughs> this is Sheila's feet. Sheila's so, feet. Oh, yes. thank God. <laughs> So this is a sample of how our feet should bear weight. Right. You should have weight on the tips of the fingers, She's on the ball. equally distributed. No, no, no. This is oh, a sample feet. All oh, right. Sample feet. So oh, tips of the feet. feet. Yes. I see. T tips of the toes. Right. B ball of the foot, and the heel. The arch needs not to touch the That's ground foot. A normal distribution. A normal distribution. Okay. The ideal. The ideal. Of course, it's not <laughs> ideal. We're never ideal. Now, when you look at her, we have a scale here. It's called the pronation index. The pronation index runs from zero to um, uh, 125. Right. And this, <coughs> this index, so, like hers is 130. It's actually off the grid. Okay, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means like her, she is really... Oh, her feet are flat. Completely, completely flat. Completely flat, That yeah. is someone who would benefit from, like, internal orthotics. Okay. Okay? But then the internal orthotics would be like this. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So these orthotics, what do they have? Again, they have the three planes of motion. They have um, the arch that helps raise that so that right. when, you, when you step, the foot is able to roll to the side and then able to toe off. And so they push this so that your spine is elevated to be so in a it balance. It, it kind of corrects that in a it sense. Corrects this, yes. Yeah. So here we look at what pronation index. We want to know the arch height, this. Mm -hmm. Is it collapsed? Like in hers, we don't have, it's almost completely down. Okay. okay? The next thing that we look at is, um, go ahead. 
So, the, so you can see the picture now mm -hmm. of her spine. Mm -hmm. This is her spine now. This is how the spine should be. Wow, okay. This is the oh, ideal. So, so this is the, the this ideal. Is the ideal. Right. This is how it should be. So mm -hmm. you can see she's putting a lot, like she's putting 52% of her body weight mm -hmm. on the right yeah. and 47% so of is, her this body is weight. We're seeing it from the back, is that? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes on the left. Mm -hmm. So what is that doing to her? A bit of uh, Yeah. So you can imagine walking like this for so long and you're also doing other activities. What is happening to your muscles? And then you can see that one of the arches on the on 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 on, on the on the left yes. is more collapsed than on the right, because here you can see okay. her feet. Okay. So that, that, that again gives us an idea and an indication of where can she have pain. Okay. So we'll do this and then we can move over yes, across to yes, the next yes, room. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. sure the pain. The pain diagram here. So we, she is likely to have pain on the shoulder. Wow. She's likely to have pain it's interesting. It's, on the hip. It's from the foot, but actually the effect is... Yes. <laughs> she, she is likely to be having pain on the knee. Do you have pain in those areas? She does. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, because this is a continuous repetitive move, right. and because this pain is gradual, yeah. you never experience it right then. It's, okay. it's over time. Doctor, lead the way, please. <laughs> I'll just follow you. Yeah, please. Let's see. So, so I didn't get your name. Oh, first in this direction. Yes. Okay. So, her name is Sheila. Now, okay. the next thing here we do is is it's called an insight scan. Here is now we have three scans that we're gonna run. Mm -hmm. One of the things we wanna see the muscle tension. Okay, using um, just the the, the thermal heat the infrared to be able to see. Uh, what is the tension distribution from right to left? We want to see the nerves, as you saw, you saw the nerves as they were coming out of the spine. So we want to see which areas mm -hmm. on her spine are compressed. Okay. Okay. So that when we decide what treatment to give, we know where exactly to go. All right. So that's your small scanner? It's a small scanner, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, these are functional scans. Uh -huh. So you can see, um, you can see here we have the whole spine. Mm -hmm. Now, as he runs it, we'll see how, uh, how, 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 how the tension is distributed. Mm -hmm. All the way up to the neck. I, I, I saw one. So, in her case, you'd expect most of the tension to be at the low back. Right. But maybe she also spends a lot of time on phone. Uh -huh. so where do you get most of her tension? Oh, I see. You get most all, of all the tension. Yeah. So what would be her, compl her, her things that she complains about? She'll be complaining about headaches, yeah. neck pain, uh, sleep disturbance. Mm -hmm. um, I also see nasal congestion. Mm -hmm. It will be part of what you get here. Why? Because these are the nerves that supply uh, those areas. The next test that we do, so we do, we do the discounts so that we're able to have an overview mm -hmm. of how the body is functioning. Um, the, the, the other thing about, about this scan is, 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 um, is that it looks very simple, but it picks for you a uh, very, very uh, detailed um, uh, muscle and nerve uh, so the next one now, we want to see the nerve. We mm -hmm. check the muscle. Okay. So we want to see the nerve. What happens to the nerve? From the neck? Okay. Yeah. So, so, what's going on on the screen? The screen is just, show, oh, okay. uh, it's just showing. So it's going to pick areas of tension on the nerve. And then we'll have a scale mm -hmm. to be able to know which, which, which vertebrates have the most tension. So he go, he's going through each vertebra, like the, the seven vertebras of the neck, but he's going to go all the way down so that we are able to see uh, the tension that is, is, is a, which, which vertebras exactly, which nerves exactly are being affected. For example, in this case, we have the, nerve, the top. It's that specific. Yes, yes. The, the top, we also have a lot of tension at, at, this, at, at, the, at, the, at the junction. We don't have a lot of tension uh, so far on the upper, on the upper thoracic spine. Help me. 
So the other thing is we have a scale. You can see there's a scale here. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a scale. So the scale shows us the amount of spinal rotation, the right. vertebral rotation. So we have tension here. You can see this is 12. This is 8. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, she may, she may need, she must need an adjustment that re releases the upper, the, the junction between the upper, the lower bank, I, I mean, and the thoracic spine. The other thing that we are also seeing is a lot of tension at the lumbar, mm -hmm. the bone where you sit on. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of tension. So when I'm treating her the, and I'm doing adjustment, this area, this area and that area are That's key okay. areas that I focus on. The last one, the last one is... What, what does that do? This now, we are looking at the organ. Okay. So we have looked at the muscle, we have looked at the nerve, now we need to look at the muscle tension. So on the mass, here what we're going to do is now be able to see the stress levels, mm -hmm. okay? The body has, um, if you may, uh, uh, what you call fight and flight, sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, innovation. Right. So sympathetic and parasympathetic innovation. So we look at the heart variability. How does your heart respond to the tension that it's getting on the body? But now not only the heart. We're gonna look. We're gonna be able to have a general uh, uh, view. Both eyes scan. And you scan both, uh, both, both hands. No, no. You scan. Just one you scan hand. one hand, mm -hmm. the left hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just the left hand. Just the left hand. It's it's just like what you have in a, in a hospital ICU mm. for oxygen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's 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 very 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 similar. So let's pull for you the scan. You see. So here we're going to generate a report, and the report here is going to be able to tell us the three things. Mm -hmm. uh, we should have started with that. Okay, okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So this is this scan now. See this parasympathetic okay. right. and sympathetic. It's about fight and fright. Mm -hmm. okay? And then we have different colors. We have green, we have yellow, we have orange, and we have red. What do the colors mean? This is good. This is stressed, starting to get stressed. This is stressed and this is really stressed. Okay. Okay. And then what we are looking for is we want this dot to be here. In the area that has least stress. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to be at the center line. For example, in her case, she's what we call uh, sympathetic dominant. It's like she's a... <laughs> you know? <laughs> she's, she's, she's in that... <clears throat> Uh, right. sympathetic state. So, meaning she's easily stressed out. Okay. Okay. She's maybe having a lot of emotional stuff also as well right. happening at the same time. Your body picks up all of that. Yeah. Your body picks all that up. Go to the next one. So here we have the three scans. You have this one, heart rate variability. Out of 100, she's scoring 57. Okay. That's not good. Mm -hmm. And then we have muscle tone. She's scoring a 62. Not right. very bad, but not good. Okay. And then you have organ function. She's scoring a 70. I mean, a 67 as well. Now, with that, we are able to create what we call a core score. A core score is like uh, is, 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 is is like your total results. What mm -hmm. what what are you scoring? What how does your body o perform? Overall. Overall. Yeah. You see, she's challenged. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one thing. This is excellent. Very good. Good. Transition. Take it worse as you go. Yeah. As down. you go lower. Yeah. So we can see that we, here we are able to notice that if she does, if she continues in this trajectory, one is that she she may have issues with what with 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 with, with, um, with her organ function. She may have issues with her muscles as well, nerve issues and all that, and that creates that creates now a, a bazaar or rather a, a mirage of symptoms that sometimes are unrelated to the spine. For example, if you look at organ function, she may have start having things like problem with regulating temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, she may have problems with, um, uh, with, with digestion, maybe constipation, maybe acidity. Uh, and, and, and we are able to, to confirm that by going into a neural link. Mm -hmm. Here now, looking at the red slides that we did, so let's put this ca the, the cursor here on the, on, the, on the second one. Okay. Second one, second one, yeah. 
You see, the second one was 1.9. Okay. So what are the things that she may be experiencing? Headaches? Yes. Neck, anxiety? Vertigo? Can have uh, mood swings? Balance issues? Memory? Fatigue? And sleep disturbance? Okay. Okay? Those, that is some of the things that she's experienced. She, 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 she's experiencing. The other thing is vision. And vision here, you're talking about low vision. It may be, it could be she's getting blurry. Maybe um, she's, um, she's experiencing, you know, like double vision. Mm -hmm. All that is because, again, of the tension of the neck. Okay. So as we, as, as we take these scans, we have taken her history. We now start comparing that, this, and you put it all together. And you start putting it together and start understanding what's going on. Then we oh. come down here. Right. Doctor, we'll just wind up. I want to take a short break okay. as we prepare for, for, yeah, for, for the next move um, in, in summary. We'll, we'll come back to, hopefully now we'll have put all her yes. data together yes. so we can, we can, we can we see can the data discuss. together. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the, here we are. Really fascinating place to be and what uh, technology can do to tell you what's wrong with what bits of uh, your body. We're going to get into the results now and also what you need to do once you pick up some of the signs that uh, Dectari has uh, talked about. So we're going to take a short break. Your world will be right back. And remember, today we have your back. On track. <laughs> The roughest and the toughest. Your favorite reggae show, NTV Jam Down, live on the screens. Kila Sato Maze Kwanzia San, Nembaka Sasita. Na i wiki takwani no masana, all the way from Kingston, Jamaica. Takwana Ojiman the Great. Kama Kawaida giving you good music, good vibes, and of course, guests from all over the world. At 10 p.m. till late, DJ Mo alongside Miss Katiwa. We are live. So see you soon and keep safe. More spice. More spice. Your medication makes me high Vino vegetable oil stays liquid to the last drop so it's smooth cooking from start to finish Now with an easy to pour cap Mapishi pour, madishi pour So taught us Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we should be uh, we should keep cleanliness Actually, he said that cleanliness is uh, what is best for a Muslim. And from him, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hand washing, which is part of cleanliness, hand washing, that we wash our hands, we wash our faces, we wash every time with soap. This is part of what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. Do you need to send your parcel or document during this period? The Nation Courier Services with over 15 years of distribution experience will deliver it for you. We deliver to every corner of Kenya due to our strong distribution network. Have overnight door-to-door -door service and same-day intra-city service with the security and safety of the client's shipment guaranteed. Your parcel is our priority. We'll deliver it for you. Contact us for delivery on courier services at ke.nationmedia.com or call 0719-038-739. Akiri, 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 akiri.
was thinking today, um, I'm, I'm going to stick with the empty tomb. And, and I want to make a big deal out of that. And I know for most of us uh, evangelical Christians, we are very familiar and very comfortable with the space of the cross and the death of Christ. Uh, but we don't think too much about the resurrection. And yet, if Christ had died and remained dead, there would be nothing for us to celebrate. Welcome to Pishi Home Chef. Oh, just perfect. We're gonna be cooking breakfast. Making chicken shikaki carbonara. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm so happy to be on this show. Those people think I can't do it again. <laughs> I forgot onions. So I have to call her literally to call her and ask her and say your recipe. Pishi Yuri. Check out at Pishi254. dancing shoes on and get your dancing moves on because this week on Tender Public from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. we are showing you a brand new TikTok challenge and you need to get on it but first follow at Sky Girls KE on Instagram for more information on that and this Saturday we have amazing guests joining us to show us how the TikTok dance challenge for Sky Girls KE is done bringing you nothing but vibes and vibes and vibes mtakula vibes eh Team Republic in association with Sky Girls Kenya you can be a Sky Girl too. Just go to skygirlske.com and take the pledge. Follow up on Instagram and Facebook at skygirlske. The future is now. Welcome back to your world and this morning we are out of our studio uh, in a facility that helps us to find out what's wrong with our spine or what's right with it and if we find issues with our spine or our back what to do about it and uh, my guest our expert uh, uh, tour guide in this medical uh, part of the things is uh, Dr. Hamisi Ali Kote who is a, a chiropractor and uh, we've just seen a few exercises just before we took the break now we're in a gym and we're going to explain to you, through the doctor, uh, what this space is all about. So, welcome back. And we've got my good old colleague, uh, Brian, who's our roving reporter. He's going to be our guinea pig today because he's young and fit. And so we'll see what that is all about. So, uh, Dr. Amisi, explain this space even before we do anything. So, um, here at, the, at, our, at our facility, we use this as a, as a functional gym. It is not a gym where you have a lot of equipment, but we use body weight and simple uh, tools that you can have anywhere to be able to uh, exercise patients when they're in pain. And then after that, they can progress to go and work out in the gym or wherever else they want to go. So one of the things that we do here is posture analysis. Again, we want to see not only looking at the scanner, but also when someone stands and walks, how does that um, uh, impact on, on their spine and health? One thing is, if we just look at your colleague, you can see He's that. punched a little bit. Yeah, the shoulder. Yeah, that there. one is already there. And okay. if I look just from here, this shoulder, 
looks like it's dropped on that side. Sorry, Brian, you, you tend to carry a lot of weight in your life. You're, you're still a young man. <laughs> so, so that's one thing. So we notice right? that rotation of the, of the shoulders. Yeah. With that rotation of the shoulders, we can see a lot of the back. Yeah. Yes. So then we ask him to, to walk. And what we want to see is, we want to see this line and this line. And this is the center. We want to see how much shift he keeps getting as he is walking. OK. Today is a Friday. It's that exercise when the police get to stop you and they tell you to walk in a straight line and you've had one too many, you will not be able to pass this test. But Brian is absolutely sober, he's a clean man. And, uh, so we're going to give him that challenge, how he walks straight, and the child yes. will help us see how his posture is. Yes, let's walk, let's, 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 let me be here so that I can show you. Let's go. I want you to see how stiff on the right side of his body is. Yeah. He, he is walking, but you can see the left wants to move, but the right side, it's really, it's really like stiff. And right. even when you look at him from the back, maybe Brian, turn. T turn around? To, yeah. Yeah, if you can turn. And look, let's look at Brian from the back. What yeah. you notice is this type of, uh, this type of, uh, of, of posture. B Brian, is that a swag? <laughs> <laughs> you no. can see that. So there's that shoulder drop. Right. And that shoulder drop gives us a pelvis hike on the opposite side. So... Here, you can see his pelvis here is upper. This is dropped. Okay. And, and that also gives us uh, a misalignment on, on, on his spine. So does he get to walk back again to, yes, to the line? Yes, yes, Okay, Brian, off you go. I want Don't you to look at it. the hip Just and how relaxed. the hip yeah. on, is, is kind of doesn't move as it should. Yeah. And, and with that now, we start understanding where are we going to manipulate. Okay. Okay. But before we do manipulation, the next thing we do is we do functional movement tests. We want to carry out a few tests to be able to know, after we have treated him, what exercise will be good for him. Because the exercises that we give are what we call neurodevelopmental pattern exercises. And the way to get them is through a functional movement screen. So functionally, what is he able to do and what is he not able to so, do? So Dr. just on this, uh, the posture walk, mm -hmm. it's interesting you don't use any machinery no, this you, is you visual. Just use, you just using your observation? You want to observe, you want to observe. Just observe. Because you want to compare with what you recorded on the there. machine. Oh, fantastic. Yes. OK. Yes, yes. So the next thing for Brian to do? is He's going to come here, and Brian. my colleague uh, Fred will run, from, will run us through the test, as I explained. OK. So this, this is the, this, the functional movement screen, uh, or that, that, that board that's that, uh, no, no, yeah. no, no, just come this way so we can all see. The functional yeah. movement uh, uh, screen, or functional movement board, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a method that has been developed and to train high elite athletes. Okay. However, it can be used to treat anyone, okay? okay? Because it's a screening tool. <coughs> so, now, so uh, what's, what's, what's this instrument again? Uh, this, this is a hard step, okay. and this is just a dowel. Okay. Okay? This has measurements that we're going to use. One, we're going to use measurements to be able to, we're going to get measurements so that we're able to carry out the functional test. Mm -hmm. So Fred, start with, um, let's start with the handle step. Yeah. So you come here. Okay. Brian, off you go. Now. When you come to the handle step, what we're doing, what we're trying to do is... <coughs> so, um, because we can't hear, uh, explain yes. what he's saying, because I know okay. people may not be able to hear, yes. he doesn't have a microphone on. So, we, we ask the patient to get very close to the bar, okay, Just and then... Literally touching the bar. Yeah, touching the bar, feet, yeah. feet together. He takes the dowel yeah. and puts behind his head. Yeah. When the dowel is behind his head, mm -hmm. he needs to lift his leg and straight step and step. But we don't want to see this. OK. We want him come back. Brian. Can you see what he's doing? Yeah. So go. <laughs> I want you to look at his pelvis and his knees. So OK. Let's go. Let's go, Brian. OK. You see that? So we don't want to see this, because yeah, we want to a see a clean movement. Chicken move, sort of. <laughs> yeah, clean movement. <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Today we, you're going to be my guinea pig. <laughs> OK. The other side. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and back. Brian, this, this man is not even 25 yet. <laughs> so tell us how, to, how you feel. Is there any pain? Is there discomfort? Any restriction perhaps on the balance and the microphone on the balance? So, so Brian, you say, let, let, let me explain that. I want to, what, what, what are you feeling? With the balance, so if I have to go over, it's, it's pretty hard, especially It's when very it's hard with the bar over your shoulder yes, to yes. have your leg to, cross to over and to keep it straight as well. Yes. And you need to be quite close to the, you need to be close uh, to the bar. Yeah. Close to the bar. Absolutely. What's the difficulty? Where, where is the challenge, Brian? I, I just can't explain it. It's just extremely difficult. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the way back. 
and for the record, this morning you only had a cup of coffee, yeah. nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing too serious. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that, so, doctor, explain that difficulty that he says he has. The hip movement. So okay. this is what you want to see. Just a yeah. second. Just a second. Just a second. Fred. Just a second. Yeah. So what you want to see is you want to be able to bring the leg up, straight, and back. Like a space so, walk kind of. Yeah. Like that. It's supposed to be smooth. Okay. When you're not able to do that, yes. it means you're either having restriction on doctor, the hip. Yes. Or the restriction it's on the knees, somewhere there's a restriction right. that we need now to break it further. So the next thing we do... We Just before it. you do that, Dr. Ari, yes. um, I, I want to have a go because NTV has chosen me to be their guinea pig on <laughs> all matters of embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So you My come dear close. mother is watching. She uh... <laughs> Come close to the bar. Whew, Brian, I was laughing at you. <laughs> and then I need to get your knee height. Knee height, okay. Oh, there is that as well. Okay. So it needs to be at knee level. Yeah. Uh, and this is something you can try at home. Uh, this is professional. You have to, <laughs> this one you have to do. It, it looks like a very simple piece of equipment that I... <laughs> yeah. Right. So it was hard, yeah? Oh, yes. Yes, it's tough. Uh, okay. Don't worry. We've got a, so, an ambulance. So you take this, the, you I, take this uh, door, yeah. right. hold this, and put it behind your head. 90-90 like that. Okay. At that kind of level? Yes. Feet together. Feet together. Hey. I am. Okay. And then Hold put it behind your, your head. I am asking my director at the nation centre to have a standby presenter. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now you look forward Straight. and just go. <laughs> and back. Awesome. Let's go. Okay. I cro both? Yeah, and then, no, 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 you come back. Uh -huh, the other leg, close to the bar, close to the bar. Oh, close to the bar, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then step on my heel. Oh, when I, when I go, when I go in front. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. This looks so simple. I can tell you, my heart is at 220 <laughs> beats a second. So lift the leg, step with your heel. Then back, don't touch the rope. Don't touch the rope, come back. Uh -huh. The other side? The other side, right leg, up, <laughs> and back. <laughs> Come so back. we don't want to see the loss Shaking. of balance. Yes. We don't want to see the compensation. Right. We want it to be a clean movement. Okay. So it has to be clean, but I tell you, all the nerves and over 40 million people watching what you do with your knee. So you don't have to think, you just move. There you go. Bring it back. Okay, now the right the leg, one. which has a habit of disobeying the entire directions from the brain. <laughs> there. Okay. See, every time you're touching this, you're not supposed to touch that and you're okay. not supposed to shake. To shake. Okay. So we break it further. Mm -hmm. Next one. Hmm? In a so, lunch, yeah. Okay. In lunch. In lunch. So the next thing we're going to do is called an in lunch. Right. We want to see his, his balance mm -hmm. when. Go. So we want to see his balance when he, when, he, when, when, when he is taught to do things in a, in a straight line like oh, that. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Oh, this is tough. Yeah. So. This is really tough. <laughs> so what are you assessing in this? In We're looking this, uh, for stiff. Like now we know there's an issue on the pelvis okay. and the hip. Right. We know there's something on the hip. Yeah. Now we want to see. Which side? Is it the heel? Is it the, the ankle? Okay. Is it, is it the knee? So it's going to... Where, where the issue is. Yeah, where the issue is. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> be strong. Is it just weakness? <laughs> you know, sometimes right. it's just muscle weakness. So this side okay. will be up. Okay. okay. So left leg holding the back. Yeah. There you go. Is that the... Is it, so you need to be upright there. Head back. Your head straight. There up. you go. <laughs> In now, one leg. Okay. Stay <laughs> now from that position, right. you just make, so from that position, all I want you to do is go down and then come up. Like, yeah, like a lunge. Yes, like a lunge. Feet. Yes. Without moving the feet. Without moving the feet. Woo! On national television, yeah. here goes Brian Ujiri. Good. Don't, don't move. This should not leave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Look, look straight up, uh, Brian. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, and then yeah, up. Yep. Okay. Come up. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> no, you need to use all your strength. Okay. The other Prayer leg. is very useful, Brian. Do the other leg. Back on your feet. Okay, again. Do the other leg. The other leg. Okay, Switch the legs. So oh. this hand goes down. Okay, now this hand goes up and this comes down. So you don't even want to see the shaking. No, I'm looking. So I'm looking at the shaking yeah. and I'm looking what is happening to the dowel. So the dowel is moving off. This yeah. is moving off. Right. So I start to look, seeing the instability of the ankles. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, Brian, ready to kneel. Our producer Kevin is having the time of his life. Don't worry. You see, the, the doll needs to touch his head. You see, it's off the head. Uh, the, yeah. Wow. And there is a way up now? Yeah. Brian, you... <laughs> you see, uh -huh. can you see, he can't do without moving yeah. the doll. It needs the, to be clean. The head needs to be... And up, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do you see that? <laughs> you see, that it needs to be like this. Looking up straight. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, you, from now on you stick to water, plain water. <laughs> okay, let's yeah. go again. Okay, off you go, Brian. So, there you go. Okay, and then up. It's the getting up that's a challenge. Do you need help? <laughs> <I'm> okay. <laughs> okay, from there we do uh, rotary stability. Yeah. We're going to see now, because we're seeing a lot of wavering, mm -hmm. so we're going to do something called rotary stability. Right. What does that mean? Rotary stability is his... When he, when he goes on force mm -hmm. like this, yeah. when he goes on force like this, is he able to hold a position? For example, is he able to hold that? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or is he able to hold that? Okay. Yeah. I, and maintaining that? Maintaining okay. that, yes. Brian, on this, the mat. This, be, this one should be easier. Should right? be easier. Yeah. So, so on my force. Okay, right. legs close to the bar. Yeah, and the, and the hands. Okay, oh, okay. So it's yeah. more difficult than we thought. Yeah. Okay. Right and right. Yeah. So right. You can start left and you can do the opposite first. This and this. Let's yeah. see. Right hand, left leg. Coordination, Brian. Let's Work go. with us. Start with the <laughs> hand up. And then straighten the other leg. Straight leg. Then your knee and elbow comes to be at the center. Yeah. Okay. That way. Yeah, that this way. way. Mm -hmm. So it's like here, uh, and then. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Let's have another go. <coughs> Straight. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, the other okay. side. <laughs> and tell us how to feel. If there's any pain, you tell us. Okay. Any, any just, yeah. Brian, are you feeling any, I'll speak for you because we may not be here you with, under your mask and so on. Okay. Any pain? Any discomfort? No pain yet. No pain yet? Uh, no discomfort? Coordination. coordination. Okay. That's why Dr. Hamis is here. <laughs> so I'm supposed to go with that. Okay, this was my left. Okay. My right. All right. So now it's the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straighten. Yeah. Straight. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then bring them. Then back. Touch. Yeah. Then back. And then back. Okay. No. Then back. Oh, then back to then position. Okay. Oh, it, you end in the same position. Yeah. Can you see? Right. There's a lot of muscle, and, muscle and weakness and, and instability. Yeah. yeah. So the next one, we test one side. Mm -hmm. okay. Just okay. thing, okay. Yeah, one Let's side. go, Brian. Oh, dear. Uh, no, opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. And right hand. Oh, the, uh, is, oh, should, is it on the same side? Yeah, same side. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, same side. Oh, same side. And you're not supposed to move off the door wall, off the board. The board. So you maintain your weight on the board. Don't go to that side. And does Joseph get to try this? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> so you can see he can't. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Let's do the other side. Yeah, let's do the other side. Okay. okay Finally, Brian, don't worry. Salvation is coming soon uh, with your break. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad on, on, on this side. Yeah. It's not. It's not. I know. Okay. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Uh, a deep squat. Just the, the, okay. yeah, we're gonna do a disc squat. The, the last one, one, and then we can hear one, yes. from your yeah. uh, from your client. Yeah, yeah. So you stand feet together, okay? Feet together, hold the door on top of the head. Make a man, make a so here, what, what's uh, Dr. Uh, explain uh, what's uh, so what here? We are looking at multi segmental uh, flexion. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna see as he goes down. Right. What doesn't go? Okay. 
So we didn't have a lot of weakness on the, on the pelvis. You can see. Right. Touch, yeah. So, okay. This is not easy to keep your... We're, we're used yeah, to walking, you know. <laughs> the foot flare. Yeah. Okay. Just... Straight up, up. Brian. Then in that position, looking forward, give me a hips. A nice squat. Don't change the position. Yeah, just squat. Yeah. Squat so the way you'd squat. The way you'd know, like you are... Before like you, we go further, you can see his hands are here. Yeah. His hands are not here. Should be up, up. Yeah, yeah. That, that picks for us the posture we saw. Okay. okay. It confirms. Yeah. yeah. So, Brian, you're taking a deep squat, which Don't means... Okay. As if you were going to sit on a chair that is behind you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Ready, go. Look at what is happening to his knees, look at what is happening to his ankles, look at what is happening to his body. <laughs> <'Cause> it's <a laughs> okay. So it's, 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 okay. it's picking all these areas of weakness. Yeah. Go ahead, try again. Okay, one more time. Brian? I want you to look at the heel. Do as proud, uh, Brian. Yeah. Put your feet straight. Are oh, they okay? Brian, hold on. The, the, the feet are flared again, so we need them straight. Oh. And don't, don't raise your heels up. Heels on the floor. Okay. Whenever you're ready, a deep squat from Brian. And you tell us what you feel. I think there should be a prize money for this. <laughs> okay, <stop>. yeah. <laughs> Did you notice something? Yes. He starts dipping on the weaker side that we saw on the posture. That's right. You see, he starts, that's yeah. why he starts the dipping. Okay. So, again, a confirmation. We want, we want this to be, like, as, as, as accurate now, as Dr. possible. Now, the thing is, some, some of us feel we, we, this is something you may have had for a long time. Um, are you able to correct it? Are you able to, yes, to, yes. to give him back his flexibility? Once you do, once we do, once we do this this assessment, and we generate yes, we generate um, specific work exercise. I mean, uh, workout right. that is now to help him correct those dysfunctions. Okay. Yes. Brian, yes. thank you very much indeed. Stand by in case we need a few more squats. Uh, <laughs> now I know what to do with you in the office when you become difficult. So, Dr. I know you've uh, we've brought your client. Uh, here yes. to also now explain who's gone through this process. That's right. Um, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll call him to come, to come in. Okay. Uh, if he just come in the middle. Uh, so remind, what's your name, please? Oh, my, name, my name is Willie. Willie, yes. Okay. Uh, Willie, um, I, I believe we can hear you. Uh, when you initially came here, what, what was the issue? What, what was going on? I think my, my story has been for a long time Okay. But uh, then I had a surgery. Okay. Then, Where was the injury on your? I had uh, an injury on my left foot. Mm. My left foot. Mm. And so. And a surgery, but uh, we never did any rehabilitation of the, the surgery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, 15 years later, I I went for for further checkup because the knee was having trouble. Okay. And so by then, I think it had, it had deteriorated. Okay. And so but that. But after the surgery, for those 15 years, you were fine. No, I wasn't it, fine because I was I was in pain. Oh, okay. Every okay. time I was in pain. Okay. okay. And so after another 15 years, now it became also unbearable. Okay. And so okay. I had to go to, for another uh, minor surgery. To a, second, a second one. A second one. Mm -hmm. But now they corrected that, or the problem with the knee. But now the problem now uh, uh, moved up on my left back. So from the knee? From the knee, it, it came back to on my left upper back. Right. Right. And so that was in 2012. Okay. And so, so, so Dr. Ari, just before you go on, uh, Willie, so can you explain that? Uh, I know you, you did a bit of that, um, the shift from where the stress is actually, and now moved on. Yes, so when you have, when you have an injury of one, whatever sort, or you have surgery, right. the tendency of the body is to avoid the painful side. So you, you overcompensate? Yes, so you compensate again. So when you compensate, you shift. You shift your weight to the from other. the from the weight, from the painful or the, the, the injured leg to the other leg. As a result, you also shift the pelvis. Because now the balance is not there. Balance anymore. is off. Yeah. So the discs on the spine then are not now seated in the center. They are kind of on the side. Okay. That, over time, will start causing what? A okay. you know, a, a, a muscle to become overactive. Okay. And that activity causes the muscle again to spasm and tightness because they're overworking.
Okay. So, Willie, so when, so you, when came you came here, here what, happened? what happened? Okay, when uh, I came here, that is now I've gone the journey of eight years looking for treatment. I've gone to every hospital you can imagine in this country, and every time they were not sorting out the issue. Now, I had now the back problem on one side, and also my right ankle foot, because now, because of the weight shifting, it, it is carrying now weight. I could not even walk without right, right. or insults. Yes. Yes. So even when I was coming to see Dr. Hamisi, I was also in the mind of, I'm not sure, but let me try, because I've done it for eight years and now I am here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first thing he told me was, I want to hear your story about your journey. And also I want your body to tell me a story. Not, not just you telling me a story, but also so, so, your body so to tell me. you went through all these all kind of, kind of yes. tests, the, the scan and, 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 so, and so on. on. Yes. Um, um, Dr. Tari, what did that reveal? So what we got is a lot of uh, tension imbalance between right and left, mm -hmm. okay? So he was shifting all his weight into, into, into the right leg. Right. As a result, he was developing like plantar fasciitis, you know, pain on the feet. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he was also developing a lot of severe pain on mm -hmm. the neck. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the other thing that he was developing is that he could not sleep. Okay. His sleep had become um, an issue, mm -hmm. and he was getting very irritable, mm -hmm. you know? It, it, and you'd understand that because you see, when the muscles are working for so long, so the first thing that they do is they, 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 you expend a lot of energy, mm. and then they fatigue. So with that low energy, the emotional part gets gets affected. But yeah. it's always overlooked. But mm. it gets it gets affected. So the first thing is, you, I wanted him to, to I wanted to understand what has he had, what treatments has he had, mm -hmm. uh, what has worked, what has not worked so that I could now know where to start. And for me, the most important is to start with his oldest medical history. From, I, I was asking him, I want to know when you were a kid, why you get sinus? And he looks at me like, I've told you you have back it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking about it. <laughs> you know, but but what, 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 what we need to understand is that our body has, like, uh, has memory. Yes. Every small thing that happens to us is stored within our tissues. Okay. And over time, these compounds to give us a big okay. okay. So his, his, his knee operation had changed how he walks. Right. And as a result, so he had to you know, walk like that for quite a long time. Yes. So I, I didn't see you walking, Willie. Really. Just, just take a few steps, we see how you walk now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you turn around and walk back. Dr. in his walk uh, right now, from the man you saw initially? We, 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 we have maybe, if you say, 80%, 90% uh, correction. Mm -hmm. We still, I mean, can never, can never be 100%. It's never easy to have it 100% because mm -hmm. you're still using the body. Right. But you can say he's now pain-free. He's now able to walk. He's can, able to drive. Can you confirm that, Willie? Yes. <laughs> no pain now? I have problems even when I'm After driving, I, I will be fatigued. And I can confirm after those sessions that I did, uh, I'm, I'm almost 100%. And is it treatment without surgery, surgery uh, doctor, just yeah. to be clear? Yeah. yeah, our treatment does not use drugs or surgery. We understand the physiology and the anatomy of the human body. So we look at three pillars of health. And the three pillars of health here, we are looking at the structure, we are looking at metabolism, and we are looking at the emotional health. Because these are intertwined. If I can use that chart near you, to just to explain that for you. Mm -hmm. We have what you call motor nerves, forms the skeletal pillar. Right. We have what we call the autonomic nerves, forms the internal part of our body. And we have now the sensory nerves, what gives us pain, mm -hmm. or rather we call it the emotional part. What you realize is that before we get pain, few things that start is, you start by having muscle weakness. Mm -hmm. You may have muscle spasms. You may start having fatigue, muscle tightness. On the other hand, you may have allergies, mm -hmm. you may have low energy, you may have uh, digestive problems, you may have breathing problems. These are not painful. Why? Because the sensory part has not yet started being activated. And yet the source was somewhere else. The, the, the source, source was... is somewhere else. But remember in the scan there, we looked at mass, mm -hmm. muscle, mm -hmm. nerve, and organ. It's what is being represented here. Okay. Because the other thing happens is that nerve tension can exist without pain. So that continuous nerve tension changes the posture. Okay. You know, like 
we start getting the rounded shoulders. Yeah. Now, the rounded shoulders will also now start giving us other problems. You may start feeling every change in weather, you know. It affects you. But you need yeah. your jacket. You need this. And then, boom, you get the pain. Oh. What people don't understand is that when you feel good, like you're feeling good now, you're not in pain, mm -hmm. you are not in good health. You cannot guarantee to be in good health. Okay. But for you to guarantee good health is to have healthy function. Like the test we are doing on, on, on your colleague. It's, it's, it still shows you. Yes. Yeah. Because if you cannot do the test properly, you may be feeling good, but it's just, you know, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. You're going to experience so, some Dr. issues. Really, um, again, if, what kind of exercises did you, uh, did you take him through just, just briefly or maybe? Uh, the stage one were the, the simple ones. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I had now to get to a level where by now. Actually, I was even worse than him. Lifting or walking, what kind of exercises? Start with simple things like breathing. The first thing you do is breathing. So we have, um, we start with breathing whereby uh, you do breathing li um, lying down and your legs are. Mm -hmm. And what, what first of all you should be able to get what is called uh, diaphragmatic breathing. Right. Okay? That diaphragmatic breathing helps you to synchronize your muscles. Okay, so, so that's number one. Number two is rolling. Mm -hmm. Rolling. We want to know can you roll like a baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that you're able to connect. You see, well, like your colleague could not balance left and right. Mm -hmm. So we have some rolling exercise. Then, <clears throat> from rolling, we want to open this, this, this muscle. So we get things to start opening the pelvis mm -hmm. and get the pelvis to balance. So we have this type of exercise. We also have it here. Okay, then after that, you want to <clears throat> go into what is called a hip hinge. Um, a hip hinge is you're holding, the do you're holding a, a, a doorbell, mm -hmm. and all you're trying to do is and back. Keeping it straight? Keeping it straight. Mm -hmm. You're trying again to activate, to engage your glute mass. To and unlock the, all your... Yes, yeah. yes to, because this is what we lose. These are the movements we lose. Mm -hmm. once, once you're able to get that, then you take him down now to the common exercise that everybody does, mm -hmm. the cut and camel. Okay? Mm -hmm. The cut and camel. The cut stretch, yeah. Yes, the cut and camel stretch. <laughs> <clears throat> After that, we use a foam roller. This one? Oh. This one. Mm -hmm. We use a foam roller to break down the tightness of the muscles. Mm -hmm. How do we do that? <clears throat> you start with this. Wow. Okay. What does that do? You are, it's like making chapati. You are smooth. <laughs> <laughs> you're, That's a good you're, analogy. <laughs> you're, you're, you're trying to smoothen out all the knots that form within your muscles. Yeah. Because if these knots stay there for long, they cause a lot of restriction. And they, 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 they um, impede grinding. Okay. And grinding is all we need for us to function properly. Okay. Yeah. So after that, after doing this and you're getting flexibility, then we now start adding things like, um, it's called a get up. The kettles, yeah. Kettlebell. You know, you may start with something like this. So in this position, you maybe in this position, you want to see, can they just be able to come back? You know, even before they come up. Okay. So you activate the core and you do it on both sides. <clears throat> okay. After that, you want to do other exercises in this position. Mm -hmm. And in this position now, you want to go for like, you reach and you reach. Okay. Then you want to go up. So, so you're addressing the entire body generally? You cannot address one specific yeah. spot. Because if you do that, yeah. then the, you can't collect the compensation. Because okay. the compensation is global. Right. Yes. So and now we, we're coming very close to the end of our program, Dr. Tari. There are people who are seated at home watching all this and maybe not able to necessarily come and visit you. What kind of tips would you share? A, first of all, how you, uh, how you without all this equipment at home, how do you identify this? Something that's amiss in, 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 in my whole you know, body, and then what do you do about it? One just, of the things... Just in a home scenario, before they come to you. Yeah, one of the things that you need to pick is if you're using your phone mm -hmm. this way all the time. Yeah. You need to know that that will cause you problems either then or time. Right. Same thing with kids carrying book packs. Same thing with somebody working behind a computer. Right. You, what you're doing is you're reducing this and you're reducing this. So you start developing acidity, constipation, things that you don't relate to your back. Okay. But most of the time, they will be key right. in healing of your back. So what are the exercises you do? I ask people to do very simple exercises. Mm -hmm. One, 
You just need to raise your hands up. And when you get up there, bring them back. And bring your chin back. Then push back. Very gentle. You're not using any force. And then you drop down. Okay. Then you come up. Bring back. You can do this a repetition of three times. Okay. Then from there, you come here. You take a deep breath. And you bring down. Again, three times. Right. Then you're going to come here. You're going to stretch that spine. Okay. And you want to stretch that spine. Let me, let me come back to Willie for a second. So you've had a surgery, 15 years, lots of problems on your left knee, um, trying to find help wherever you could. It was, was a big problem. You came back here. You, you, you got some help. So how has your life changed since you had the treatment without the surgery? I think um, psychologically, I think, you, you know, sometimes when you're in pain and also you, 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 you get to a point whereby you think like, this one is my lifestyle now, to be in that pain. Maybe I cannot even, going for shopping, I had to look for someone to carry my shopping. Even five kgs I could not carry. I have to look for someone to do that. Doing chores in the house was also a problem. Being in the profession, I'm an accountant by profession, so being in that profession of sitting down was also trouble for me. And you sit for a long time. And you that? sit for a long time. So that was trouble for me. Driving for long, I could not like move from here to the TRM, Thicker Road. It was, once I'm there, I have to hold so my... So everything now shifted, shifted to, your, to your back? Yes. Yeah. So After all these sessions, it is easier for me to even do something without planning because all these things I had to plan in advance. If I have to go for shopping, I have to look for someone to go with. If I have to do something, I have to look for someone. If it is in the house, I have to look for someone to fix anything in the house. And at least now, I, I am relieved a lot of that pressure of doing things in advance, looking for someone, inconveniencing other people, and it has been a great journey. So how long did the treatment take uh, from when you started? In three and a half months. Uh, and so... Uh, Daily or weekly? No, I, because I started coming here on, in May this year. So it's more like uh, I had to go like for some weeks. Right. So it is on a weekly basis. You come on a weekly basis, then there's a period now after some uh, sessions you are given a, a month break. Okay. then you come for review. So, and and uh, do you still, still continue with the exercises? I, I exercises? At home? Yes, at home. And so sometimes now I'm like, I have to go now, come for review uh, once and uh, in, a, in a time so, so that at least I, there is no relapse to yeah. ensure that everything is in order. Dr. Terry, you said Willie is now about 80% according to you. Yes. What is the 20% that, that remains? It's the maintenance part. Uh -huh. You know, the human body is like a car. And uh, what, I'm, what, what we're trying to educate people is that you don't have to wait until you're in pain because it takes you more money, more time, and more suffering for you to get out of it. So if you can be able to do a service maintenance of your body, just the way you drive your car uh, for a checkup, change your oil, change this, and you're able to do that on your body, then you put your body at a better functionality and less chances of you getting pain. Okay. So for him, uh, the maintenance pa phase is, you know, before we know somebody comes with pain, the pain goes away, you think you're fine. So for us is to push to him that no, you are not still fine. You are what we call a stability stage. You, you to need to continue going. doing it so that okay. your body now moves into wellness, whereby you don't have uh, any fear of the pain coming back, and that becomes a lifestyle that you take. Okay. Dr. Missy, thank you, and Willie as well. So we're going to take a short break now. Hashtag, you know, tell us what you, your experiences have been and uh, what challenges you've had seeking treatment, how successful, uh, etc. And any questions generally that you want to put to our expert uh, doctor or indeed to Willie who's gone through uh, these processes. So we're on break. Your world will be right back to have more on your back on track.
Credit to you if you stay at home. If you must shop online, use your NCBA credit card. Stay home. Stay safe. Love garlic in your food but hate the hassle of making it? Introducing Fresh Fry Garlic, specially crafted with garlic oil for healthy living. The oil has a beautiful garlic aroma and adds an extra kick when used on your favorite meals. Fresh Fry Garlic combines wonderfully on salads, star fries, marination for meat or simply when sprinkled on your favorite dish. Try Fresh Fry Garlic today. Available in all leading outlets countrywide. Building tips for general construction. Fast drying should be portioned well with ballast and sand. Mixing should be constant. Should not have excess water. Exactly 50 kilograms guaranteed in each bag. Adding strength to Kenya's landmarks. Power for specialized constructions. Cementing the nation's future. Simba Cement, the strength and pride of Kenya. Now also produced in Nakuru and Mombasa. That is when we've seen the support of equity because the loan which I took to pay teachers, it has been rescheduled to 2021. We are not going to stop because there is Corona. Let's hop in my this week on The Trend. I said hop in my Maserat. Hop in my Maserat. Girl, I wanna see you go down. Alejandro. Fisi, 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 Fisi. Alejandro. Only on the trend. Baby, hop in my massage, and I just wanna see you The trend in association with Infinix. The future is now. Infinix. The future is now. I miss Gale so much. I'd rather have him stay mad at me than to lose him forever. You mustn't blame yourself. That wasn't your doing. Gael's death wasn't because of you. It was because of the person who started all this trouble. This is Anna. They're keeping me somewhere near a church. I Mom, hear the bells. Mom! Bandan! Anna texted us! A church? Well, she said that they're keeping her near a church. Well, this would be a big help to us in finding her. So why would you want to help her now? Because if Salvador is hurting anyone, whether it's Anna or someone else, I won't allow it. That has always been our mission from the very start, to bring Salvador down and make him pay. Did you know that you can join Safaricom Saco? Membership is open to individuals and corporate employees can also be enrolled on checkoff. As a member, you save and enjoy affordable loans at favorable interest rates and mortgage facilities. Safaricom Saco, empowering you. It looks like Lushan is sticking her nose into oh, things please, that are Rochella, none of her business. This isn't the right time. He was always after me and everything was just going great. Until Marta got in the way just as she did with your father. If there's anything that concerns my children, you have to tell me about it. Do you understand? Excuse me for interfering, but if Luciana didn't... But still, she doesn't have any right to keep from me anything that has to do with my children. Yes, but... I don't even want to think about how much trouble she's in. Lushana, the fact that I can't be with you doesn't mean that I can just forget everything I feel for you. Are you alright, Madam Lillian? Is anything wrong? It's nothing you can fix. Nobody has the cure for love problems. Along came love in association with Blue Band Peanut Butter. DJ, whoa, whoa, whoa. DJ, Mo. DJ Mo. The roughest and the toughest. 
Your favorite reggae show, NTV Jam Down, live on the screens. Kila saa to maze kwazi ya saa nene mbaka saa sita. Na hii wiki takuwa ni noma sana. All the way from Kingston, Jamaica. Takuwa na OG Man the Great. Kama kawaida, giving you good music, good vibes, and of course, guests from all over the world. At 10 p.m. till late, DJ Man alongside Miss Katiwa. We are live. So, see you soon and keep safe. More spice. Medication. Your medication makes me high. Vino vegetable oil stays liquid to the last drop, so it's smooth cooking from start to finish. Now with an easy to pour cap. Mapishi pour, madishi pour. The future is now. Welcome back to Your World, uh, the final part of this show. And this morning, we've been focusing on your back, on your back issues, and getting advice on what you can do uh, to become a better, stronger, healthier person in all the activities that you carry out in your life. Now, we've moved away from uh, the gym. We're into the spine decompression room. And Dr. Hamisi is going to take us through what this room is all about and what they do here. Dr. Hamisi. Thank you very much. So this bed, we call it a COX-8 table. It's a decompression table. It's a bed table we use for uh, decompressing all those disc, nerve compression, the sciatic pains, the nerve pains on the head. So this table moves in the following um, ways. <clears throat> so it's able to pull the spine in that direction. It's able to move the spine on the side. Okay. <clears throat> and the same time, we use it to, uh, to perform some adjustment, mm -hmm. like to correct the spine. So we'll have our, our model here. Brian. Show you. <laughs> it's true, it's so yeah, it's true, it's fine. Just lie on your stomach. Your head here, your stomach. Your, your on your belly, on, on your belly, on your belly. On my belly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and then hands on the side, yeah. Yeah, that's Just it. relax. That's right. Okay. So our guinea pig, Brian, on the bench. <laughs> so the first thing we do is we come and, and try to look at the leg length. We're trying to look at the leg length, comparing, sorry, comparing right and left. And when you see here, 
you can see this leg is shorter than this one. Oh really? You can. <laughs> yeah. If you if you push, if you push here, you can see, and I'm pushing both right. together. You so can his, see that. Uh, his right leg. Yes. You can also see this dipping. Mm -hmm. You can see this dipping and this rotation here. Right. Maybe it's also because he puts a lot of wallet. So you can see like this is up, this is down. Yeah. You can see. Uh, you can. So we check the leg length, and then we. Relax, Brian. See, when I lift his legs, they mm -hmm. kind of balance, but look at what happens to the pelvis. Right. Look at what happens here. Yeah. And you so see, yeah, yes, you can see that rotation. And, and, and then, yeah, then I push it here and ask him, where do you feel pain? Brian? On your... Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, come, on. come and check. Those, 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 remember the, the two bones on the, on the spine? Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian, you okay? So, <laughs> if I push here, this, this you can see we have, we have a give. Yeah. This it's very steep. is a block. Yeah. This is a block. This one does not even move. Brian, you're so right we know, So, <laughs> we know we need we, to we manipulate issues. something there. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. <laughs> then, uh, I want you to turn your head this way. No, no, the way you are, okay. but just lift your, no, head down. Mm -hmm. You're just lying down. You're just going to lift your head and turn, turn this way. Okay. And then, you're going to come back and then the other side, okay? okay. Okay, so so turn to this side and back. Mm -hmm. Turn to the other side. What are you seeing? And back. back. I'm trying to see the tension in the neck, and yeah. we have a lot of it here. You can even feel it yourself. Yeah, if you, if you touch both sides. Brand. I can see it from here. Brand. 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 <laughs> can you feel? Again, yeah. from here. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so how we, let's let's do let's do a treatment for him. Okay. Joseph, I can tell you, I always tell myself I'm fine. Y you, yeah, I see you walking with a with a spring in your step in the <laughs> office, and then you, you you look super fine. But uh, these machines tell another story. <laughs> Yeah. So, so we can, yeah, just like that. So you can see this. You can mm -hmm. see that uh, imbalance. So we start. I want to start from somewhere here, and okay. what I do is I just hold that. I, sh I hold the vertebra, mm -hmm. and I start stretching it. Is right. it painful? Right. A bit. Yeah. It's, it's a bit painful. And now? Some tension. Some tension. Where about? On your shoulders? On the hip? This round full piece as well, right here. So we stretch. The first thing you want to stretch, just mm -hmm. put mobility in, in the in the joint. Right. Wow. So you're working your way down the spine. Yes, you're stretching all each vertebra at a time. Wow. Brian, what's the feeling? Well, um, still some pen tension, especially on my right. Tension right. On your right. Yeah. 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 So you've gone straight into treatment? Yeah, uh, first of all, I have to loosen a bit so that mm -hmm. it's easy for me to adjust mm -hmm. and, uh, and make sure that the vertebras can move because most of the time they're stuck. That's why you're getting the compensation. Right. Uh, Brian, okay. what, what are you feeling? Uh, there's still uh, some bit of tension, right? Uh, or yeah. Still on my right, where where I, where we stated is a bit stiff. Uh, so, so you can actually identify start. the spot, <laughs> the actual spot. <laughs> yes. Okay, hold tight, Brian. <laughs> don't f don't fight, just let it go. Whoa. Yeah. Any pain, Brian, on that? Oh yes. Really? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so. Again, Dr. Abisi, what are, what are so you trying to do? trying to get the pelvis to into align. Because remember it was like this. Yeah. So you're trying to drop that one there. Right. But at the same time, yeah. we, we have to drop one of the vertebrae here. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can see what, what he's going through. Okay. Okay. Then... <clears throat> Okay. 
and then we'll move slightly upper to the upper back yeah and here take a deep breath mm -hmm. and out <laughs> take a deep breath again deep breath <laughs> and out there you go so can you start seeing mm -hmm. you're starting to get less of that yes and then you come here is it painful here right. or is it painful here yeah. which one is more this or that the right yeah Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Brand, feels <Really>? like a <laughs> panel beating a car, an old car. <laughs> Turn and, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just so. Yes, that's right. Can you face up? Okay, so, so turn around. Today so, is okay. the day. <laughs> okay. And then just lie back. Okay. Painful here? Yes. Okay. Interesting. None on this side, but lots of mm -hmm. tension and pain on my right. Oh. So don't tighten up. My neck can actually snap. <laughs> don't tighten up. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Which side is painful, this mm. or this? This side. Okay. Yeah. Just pull yourself slightly down. And it's actually consistent with... Uh, with the fine is yeah, it, yes. it's on the same side. Hold across your shoulder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Dr. from yeah. where I'm standing, it, is, it looks like a very violent exercise. But <laughs> I want you to sit at the edge of the bed, like this side. Okay. So we have adjusted. Yeah. Okay. We have adjusted most of the lower coming up. Mm -hmm. Now we need to remove this. The, 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 the tension on the, the upper back. Yes. Yeah. So here we do something called the ring ding. Move up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to use that. This one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What? Uh, Brian, this is a story you, 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 you remember. <laughs> <laughs> so let me explain to you. What this is that? Yeah. Is, 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 it does, um, it's, just, it's just a, st a stretch of the whole vertebra from down up, okay? okay. Yeah. Now, when we do the stretch, you may feel a strain here, okay? Yeah. But that strain doesn't take, lo doesn't take long, it just goes away. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna lie back. Don't move your legs, you just lie back. Now there you, you go. You're like a tethered goat. Uh, <laughs> sorry about yeah. that. There you go. Okay. Wow. All right. We make sure it doesn't run away, yeah? <laughs> 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 I need to move here. Sure. Okay, all you do is relax, don't fight me, and breathe. Ah. Yeah, you go! go. <laughs> scary. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Breathe. Uh, Are you alive? Right. I'm, I'm shocked, shocked about about life. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how does it feel? Now. Right. Wow, like that. Come across on this side, side so that I can yeah. get a proper view of Brian. Well, well. so, so g g give, a, give us a uh, Brian, you can come closer here. So that give a, tell us what, what was going on through your body and your mind actually while you're lying down here. I mean, perhaps uh, uh, the snap feelings are very, are, are pretty tough. Nashtua uh, kidogo. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's actually some sort of relaxation now in that yes that you that you actually feel a bit scary when you when you're now tethered all up and you and <laughs> <laughs> and someone literally pulls you to the opposite side. Right. But wow, amazing constructions here. I, I am absolutely fascinated by the way. Did yeah. you have any idea, idea that there were slight misalignments in your body? No, no, when, no, when, no. You, when you walk past on your feet in the office I and you're all good. You know, it's a, it's a spring on the and uh, I mean, I'm, uh, it's amazing. No, I feel, I feel uh, it's, it's a great feeling. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. You're most welcome. So, oh. so once now you've been adjusted like that, right. we have generated exercises for you. Yeah. And this is, becomes your home program for the next one week. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we also do some mass work in the process, but then you have this exercise that you carry on for, for, for a whole week so that you keep those muscles lengthened, keep stretching them up so that all those knots, all that stiffness, all that lack of grind is restored. So, so do those exercises become just part of your life now? You, yes, you it becomes part of that. your life. It, right. becomes, it becomes things you do. We make them simple, we make them easy so that you can do them from anywhere you are. Okay. And what we encourage people is Tai Chi. Right. You know, Tai Chi is slow and people don't like it, mm -hmm. but Tai Chi covers your whole body in a 3D uh, type of a setup, okay. you know, when you move. Because these exercises are people with, for people with a lot of arthritis, and it's just slow movement and breathing. Because what we okay. realize with breathing, breathing centers everything back to neutral. Right. It's like setting your phone to default. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now, Doctor, we've just got a couple of minutes before we, uh, we end our program. It's been an amazing two hours here. Uh, just final tips to the viewer at home. Um, sitting positions, the kind of bed that you lie on, the kind of seat that you, you know, what, what are the kind of... Your, your tips I want to start with him and give you a good example. This is for men. Yeah. Just yeah. turn and right. face around. Okay. All men, of course, whenever you're going to, you know, buy, you buy somebody. Yeah. 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 The wallet. This. The wallet, yeah. The wallet. The wallet is one of the biggest things that cause a muscle imbalance. Yeah. You see the side the wallet is, is more it's more toned mm -hmm. than the one the side there's no wallet right look at the scapula yeah okay why because every time you sit on a wallet you don't sit flat you sit like this because yeah, you don't want to you know yeah no even if you're damaging the wallet but mm -hmm. it will yeah. always lift you up it yeah, will lift yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the bones yeah. up yeah that over time it will shift everything so brian you normally carry your wallet on, yes. on, your, yes. on the same pole, same side yes okay yes mm -hmm. so i encourage men especially to to use their pockets. Side pockets. Yes. Okay. Number one. Number two, if you work on an iPad, on a, on, a, on a phone for a long time, and you're in this position, you have to create a way of straightening up. How do you do that? You start by just grabbing your head when you're seated. Mm -hmm. You can grab your head when you're seated and just pull it down. Mm -hmm. Let go. Pull it down. Let go. And once you've stretched that side, you're gonna go to the other side. You're gonna go to the other side. Then, after that, it's important that you bring your hands up. Okay. When you bring your hands up, turn them away, bring them down. You saw when you were testing him, his hands were coming here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you want to derotate that mm -hmm. to come behind. So, so a complete move. Yes. Mm -hmm. The other thing is you can just come to a wall like this. Mm -hmm. And you're not pu doing a push-up, mm -hmm. but you're just okay. pushing and back. All right. You can stand behind a wall, yeah. put your hands like this, okay. and this type of movement. Okay, Dr. Terry, I, I, we, we've just got maybe 60 seconds left. Okay. Any tips for the ladies? The ladies is high heels. Mm -hmm. High heels, whenever you wear high heels for a long time, you know, ladies are interesting, they wear high heels and then they switch from high to flat. You can't just have those drastic uh, changes. You have to be able to look for, if you want to wear a high heel, one that with a broader surface at the back and in the front. Because so equal distribution. Of, yes, yeah. because you don't want your toes compressed in the front and you don't want your body to be falling forward. Okay. So you want to have a balance. Okay. And even if you have to wear these other pointed shoes, wear in moderation. Mm -hmm. Don't be in high heels for too long. long time. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't use them to walk on rough areas because every time, you keep on looking for balance. Uh, and okay. lastly is move. You have to move, whatever movement. You can skip, you can swim, but you have to move. Okay. Avoid prolonged sitting because sitting is the next walking. Okay, thank you. Dr. Amisi, thank you so much. Uh, and, and Brian, thank you too. Thank you. You picked well. up some few tips. Yes. I'll so see. Monday we're seeing a new Brian, so rebranded. Yeah, have some new the swag has brand. got to be toned down a little bit. No <laughs> <in the step. laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Mr. thank you very much indeed. So that's it for this morning. We've gone through uh, various things that will help you, hopefully, at, at home. Uh, tests that you can uh, get done to tell you about your posture, your movement, your flexibility, your mobility, and that kind of thing. And uh, Dr. Mr. has taken us through some exercises that you can hopefully uh, get to do at home to get yourself a little bit more flexible. So thank you very much indeed for spending the time with us here at this uh, facility, courtesy of uh, Dr. Uh, Hamisa, this is, uh, uh, what do we call it again? This uh, is Premier one? Rehab and Wellness Centers. Okay. Uh, we're located in Parklands. And our hashtag, uh, you, uh, you can follow us on social media at Premier Rehab and Wellness Centers, okay. or you can follow us at Premier Rehab and Wellness Centers. Dr. Hamisa, thank you very much. So that's it.
Uh, we're off air for the weekend, but as, lo as always, uh, your world is back on Monday morning, promptly at 7 a.m. Before then, at 6.30, we have a really good workout session courtesy of our really highly experienced uh, fitness instructors. They take you through exercise that can make you a little bit more listener, be a bit more fit. So, on behalf of Dr. Tari, Brian here, and uh, the entire team that's following us all around with the 101 cameras, I just want to say thank you, have a good weekend, stay safe, keep your mask on, and sanitize. Thank you for everything.